The script is only five pages today. Perhaps this week, there's not very much community concern. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifier. I started this playlist and series called Community Concerns because I have more time to research. If you've missed past week's installments, they're put into a playlist that can be binged while you wait for CIG to finally release meaningful content after the 8th of October. Consider bookmarking it and checking in every once in a while to get caught up to date with what the community is talking about. And if you find it fun, please do me a favor and share it with a friend or orgmate. Today is the 27th of September, almost winter, 2022. And I try to do these on Tuesday, choosing topics wherever possible that were well presented and have a good banter back and forth. We begin with the threats. Fappy the Clown proclaimed that they're disappointed with their game performance. They said that they should be able to run this game. They scan other people's systems and hear those people's testimonials. And they say, yes, this hardware can run this game at this. They have 32 gigs of RAM, an SSD, and just upgraded from a 1080 FE to a 2080 Ti. They've said that they've used all three optimization guides and that they saw no visible improvement with the new graphics card. A little bit of digging highlighted the issue. They have a 3.5 gigahertz Intel i7, which sounds super fast and capable, but it's a 5930K, which is a fifth generation CPU that was released at the time of Kickstarter. Bro, it's obvious. Not only is it time to upgrade your game name, but it's also time to upgrade your CPU. No doubt this CPU centric alpha is gonna run like a slideshow because your desktop has one third the processing power of an iPhone 11. The point here is everyone new and veteran need to keep track of the CIG telemetry page as the patches come out. Next, Wot Wotabalus has stated with the ISC on localization, they got to thinking this could be bad. They have no need except for anything but English. Their concern is wasted hard drive space being eaten up by the extra languages as part of the game, and they simply don't want them. CIG, please allow us to choose our preferred game language upon install, and then allow us to download others as needed. The reason I'm focusing on sentence structure here is many replies focused on the OP's entitlement rather than the OP's idea. So I just want to point that out. It's not the first time Chris, Aaron, or Tony have made a game. And I would say that this post in Spectrum falls into that noisy category. So with that in mind, CIG Knight Rider, can you please consider getting together with the other moderators and discussing adding a new form category? Call it just noise and use it to move threads like this into it like a big dumpster. Next, Bob's Evil posted a paragraph ordering the community to be respectful of their opinion, then posted a single sentence statement for discussion. Bob, no wonder why your threads turn into a flame war. Anyways, their point was to say that Jared confirmed that there would be a drought before CitizenCon. Bob then noted that Jared then said that they may still post some topics before that may have been pulled out of the seven hour show, possibly before the 8th of October. Bob said that this is a great idea. Lididius seemed to disagree somewhat by saying that it's normal for CIG to hoard content for two months leading up to CitizenCon, and with the way that they've been scaled down and diluted, they would actually prefer it if there was no CitizenCon and also no hoarding of content. Basically, cancel SitCon and make content normally, whenever it makes sense. H. Riley said that none of it matters as the current content is nothing like it was a couple years ago, uh, citing 10 for the chair, calling all devs, and even around the verse. What are your thoughts? Are you okay with two months of weaker content so that it can be saved for a seven hour show, or would you rather simply not have a citizen con and have business as usual? Next, LMX88 posted that they lost $700,000 in cash to a crash. They decided to vent to Spectrum, which I don't feel will help make them feel good because of the toxic nature of things. And I'm going to summarize all of the replies in a couple seconds. People said, it's an alpha, bro. It's going to get wiped anyways. People said, bro, why did you move 700,000 at once, bro? What did you expect, bro? Two lessons. First, don't vent to Spectrum because it's the same as peeing on a fan. You will feel better for a little bit, but then you realize that you're covered in pee. And second, risk it all and be willing to lose it all. 86 replies, not a single one had compassion. Next, and finally, Obi-Wan Shinobi called the community out for always saying that feature creep is why we're so delayed. They've been following the project for the last couple of years and they said that the feature creep excuse needs to be parked, people. They asked why do people keep talking about creep because there hasn't been in the last two years. 
There was one post by a guy, let's say his name starts with end and ends with Ubifire. This person posted the following list of things that happened in the last two years. Uh, floating in water, rivers, refining, volumetric clouds, caves, coffee people, bed sheets, and damp eyeballs. So, fake news, Obi-Wan. <laughs> Anyways, post comments in the comments. Please let me know if I missed any on that list. I would love to keep the list updated so that the OP can refer to it. That's all I got for this week. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.